All right, sweetie, what would you say are your top three requirements for our new home? Um, one would be a updated electrical infrastructure mm. in the house, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, with the hobby equipment that both of us have, um, with the power that they draw, I mean, we don't want breakers popping all over the place and yeah, stuff true. turning off. I mean, you know, true. so we, 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 we can't have that. Yeah, been there, done that. Dedicated hobby space. Mm -hmm. So when I'm painting or, or cutting stuff or breaking in an engine or something like that for my RC hobby, um, that it would be a little bit outside the house so that, mm -hmm. that we could, you know, it wouldn't disturb the family or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> and let's see, third, probably um, walking distance to some convenience stores um, access. Um, okay. And then being close enough to, since we do have our vehicle, um, to drive to the grocery store not too far away. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So how about you? What do you I would like to have a dedicated hobby space too. Okay. Um, because we did come here with the full-fledged desire and wish that we would be able to enjoy our hobbies yeah. and whatnot. So I would, so we, that's one of the main reasons we kept my embroidery machine, my, um, my cutter, my heat press, my hat press, all of the things that I use to embellish and decorate um, clothes. And, you know, I would like to keep that and do that. So I would like to have a dedicated hobby space. Sure. Um, next up behind that would probably be, oh, a guest space for the family. Sure. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, we are <sighs> aspiring empty nesters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but every now and then I would like the kids to, the kids to be able to come back from college and and maybe for us to be together at Christmas time or yeah, sure. for family to come and visit and I'd like for them to have, um, or at least the space be able to accommodate, you know, some room for family to come visit. Sure, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then my last thing would probably be a rooftop garden. Yeah, you've always wanted one of those. A little sexy rooftop garden situation, you know, <laughs> so that we could have a fantastic view. That would be just the icing on the cake. Yeah, so, that sounds good. Sounds good. So if we can look for those, uh, <laughs> find the house with all those things, then yeah, <sighs> write it up. Yeah. Search begins. All right, so let's go get something to eat. Okay.
everybody. Okay, so that is day two of house hunting, the very first house. What's your impressions? Um, it's a very, it's a nice house. It actually yeah, is nice. a very nice house. Um, really nice uh, gated community. The upper level, which is really nice, is a it's it's, it's the reverse of a, a home in the United States where the rec room would normally be in the basement. Um, this rec room slash uh, exercise room is on the top level with a with a full um, bathroom upstairs, shower, and all that. Um, the kitchen was a little small. A little small kitchen. The kitchen definitely was a little small. Um, and um, they're all the bedrooms are on the main level. Mm -hmm. um, the yard is the bedrooms know, were decent size. Decent size, yes. Decent the size. closets were nice in the master Closet. bedroom. Decent, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that there would be enough room for uh, Angie's clothes. I think. <laughs> I might be. Um, you know, it, it might be. You know. Um, I'm still kind of worried about the big basket space, and it's too bad that uh, it just it was just a wee bit too small. Yeah. Three bedrooms. Yeah. Um, oh, back up. All right, sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, just a wee bit too small for our needs, uh, but it was a nice house. I can see that one going very quickly because. It was nice, and, yeah. and but it it also felt like it was more of a home for somebody with that would be a great house and a great no, location for someone who had little kids. Right, little kids, and um, for someone who moved here without the without hobby, hobby stuff. stuff that we brought with us, and those are the things we didn't bring furniture. That house came furnished, right? Yes, we didn't bring furniture. We didn't bring any of that kind of thing. We just brought, you know, the, the creature comforts that we had. I, I'm, you know, um, I want to take this time here to be able to enjoy my hobby fully, um, unlike what I was able to do in the United States. And so that stuff came with us, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. along with Angie's hobby uh, equipment and things like that, and the home business equipment. Right. So, and, and another thing about the hobby equipment, because some people say, well, it's just a hobby. You can uh, get some new stuff or get some other things. The issue with that is that we've spent decades accumulating the equipment and things of that nature for and, our... And a better word for it, as Angie put it, is curating. Curating. Because some of the tools that I have for my RC hobby um, either are no longer manufactured or you, and they're hard to find. So, yeah. um, and can be expensive. So correct. starting from scratch for both of us would have been a very, very expensive proposition. Much And, and also trying to find the items that uh, we would be trying to use or, or need for our various hobbies here in Mexico would be difficult. And correct. so that's not something we wanted to spend years trying to redo right. and all that kind of stuff. So, correct. So that's one of the reasons why we chose to ship our hobby equipment and things of that nature. Now, having done so, that does limit us in terms of our options because right. some of the houses that we saw, well, I wouldn't say some, but what? <laughs> we left Cucaracha. Right. But <laughs> the uh, houses that we have in our, up on our list to come see um, would be sufficient. This house that we just left would have been would be fine if we didn't have the hobby stuff. Yeah. So yeah, that that's the only thing that was missing from that house. If that house had space for our hobby equipment, yeah. it it would have been on it the list. Been on the list. On the list. On the list. And, for sure. and more than likely, we would would have to snag it up quickly. Yeah. Since that is a uh, very high demand um, community, since it, the security and 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 the community that it has, the pool tennis courts, basketball courts, and recreation area for kids. But as we're seeing neighborhoods so far, the Yurinkia area of Queretaro is very nice. And I actually, I can see myself here. I yeah. can see myself here very much. Um, so we have a bunch more houses on today's list of house hunting Queretaro. 
Uh, we have a bunch more houses, so stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned.